Are you finding that your photos are looking flat and boring? Well, let's fix that by increasing the dynamic range by properly setting your black and white points in your image in Lightroom. And I'm gonna start right now. Making sure we've got the right white and black point in your image is really important. Making sure you've got the right amount and the optimum amount of dynamic range in your image. To do this, all you need to do is go ahead and choose a photo, make sure you've got your develop panel open, and we're gonna drop down to the basic sliders. Inside the sliders, we're gonna go ahead and change our white slider and our black slider. To get the right white point in your image, all you'll need to do is hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard, take your white slider over to the right-hand side until you start seeing white appearing on the black image. Then you'll just need to do it for our black slider. Hold down Alt or Option and slide it over to the left this time until we start seeing black appearing in our image. Now we have got the correct white and black point for our image, increasing the amount of dynamic range. But we can actually do this even quicker using Lightroom's automatic settings. Simply hold down Shift, double click on your white slider and double click on your black slider. And as you can see, we've automatically set our white point and our black point. And it is that easy to get the optimum amount of dynamic range in your image. Here is the before and here is the after. And if this particular tutorial helped you out, make sure to write it down in the comments below.